Some years ago, I attended a motivational event. The well-known speaker randomly picked someone from the crowd, and this person had to tell the audience what their limiting belief was and how it was holding them back from something they wanted to accomplish. The speaker chose a woman in her late 20s from the audience and invited her up on the stage. She said she was not confident and felt like she was missing out on job promotions because of it. Over the next 10 minutes, the speaker took her through a mental exercise where she created a secondary or alternative version of herself. He even made her give this alter ego a name. By example, if the woman's real name was Sky, her alter ego was named Skylar. Next, the speaker wrote down the description of everything the woman named Sky wanted to become at work and prescribed those attributes to Skylar. Ultra confident, likable, easy to relate to, no fear, knowledgeable about everything at her job. Then the speaker made Sky close her eyes and answer three questions about herself. After a pause, he asked her to become Skylar and he asked the same three questions. Amazingly, when the woman transformed into Skylar, everything about her responses improved. Her statements, her vocal tone, her posture, and level of authority, they all increased. This was because she had taken the role of the alter ego and was living up to how that role was predefined in her head. In reciting this story over the years, I learned that many luxury agents had alter egos in the early years of their career. It worked to shed an old image or belief system about themselves and transform them into something new. It allowed them to set a new standard and then live up to it and work to immediately increase their confidence.